Meet Melvin. This year he's a military man. He's telling us his story, and every single word of it is a lie. We had only seconds to spare to save the Turkish soldier. I had to act fast. The airplane was on fire. All the passengers were at risk. So I ran in there. I grabbed him. I pulled him out of there. I saved him. I saved everybody that day. I don't know what Melvin's real name is. He's used several names in the time I've known him, and I'm certain none of them are the name he was born with. I call him Melvin because he looks like a Melvin. He's lumpy, jowly, boarding, stoop-shouldered and splay-footed. <laughs> a real Melvin. The first time I met Melvin, he told me he owned a catering company that supplied the craft service tables backstage at rock concerts. He had all kinds of interesting stories about which rock stars preferred what kind of cold meat sandwiches. Did I tell you about Brian Adams? You won't believe what that schmuck wanted on his Reuben on Rye. Fennel. Can you believe it? Fresh fennel. <laughs> uh, but we're best buddies. He even gave me one of his guitars. Autographed it too. Great guy, Brian. Two years ago, Melvin turned up in town again, and this time he had a different name and he was living off a million dollar settlement he got after being injured on an amusement park roller coaster. You know the cyclone in Coney Island? I flew straight out of the bench seat and into the mountains. One million cool ones, out of port settlement. So now it's a tradition. Every summer, Melvin spends a month in Bangkok, and every year he's a different guy. The third year, he was a private detective. I'm looking for a girl. She went missing in these parts around about Christmas last year. Do you know this woman? I guess I'm a different guy every time he meets me too. I've never used any name except my own name, but since he isn't interested in anybody but himself, I make no impression on him. Melvin has met me for the first time four times. All across the world there are guys like Melvin. Guys who want desperately to be somebody other than themselves. The bars in Bangkok offer a perfect venue for being somebody else. Everybody's a stranger and everybody's just killing time. So nobody asks too many questions. Everybody is hiding something, so everyone just lives on the surface of things. But what's it like knowing the moment is coming? The moment must come for all of us, all of these guys, the moment they have to be themselves again. Maybe the moment comes when they have to present a passport with their real name on it to border control on the way home at the airport. Maybe it comes when the taxi rolls up to their front door, or when they step inside and see the pile of month-old mail addressed to their real name. 
Maybe some of them can hold off the moment until they get back to the office and the phone rings and suddenly they have to answer. Somewhere, somehow, someplace, the moment must come and it must be as certain and as unwelcome as death. The moment when they have to resume being the guy they hate. You know, that guy who never lived up to his potential. The guy with the unsatisfactory career and the failed relationships. The guy who never gets invited when everybody else in the office goes out for pizza on Fridays. The guy with the stamp collection or the model aeroplanes, hobbies that can be practiced at home alone. The guy with the freezer full of frozen meals for one. It's romantic to eat alone in a dirty restaurant on a back alley in Beijing. Eating alone in Pasadena is pathetic. What's it like knowing that moment is coming? Does Melvin sit in dread through the whole flight home, knowing that the moment is barreling towards him at 600 miles an hour? How much time is invested, daydreaming of the other guy's life, coming up with all the convincing little details that make the other guy's life so interesting, all the hard work and imagination, gone forever without any record that it ever existed, a work of art really, destroyed in an instant, on one side of the moment a hero, on the other side a zero. <laughs> Hey buddy, is this seat taken? Is it okay if I sit here? No, no, that's fine. You can sit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. It's a nice camera you got there. Are you working here? Yeah, I'm working here. I just got off a um, a shoot. I was just shooting a music video for uh, Brian Adams, and uh, and you never believe what he likes on his Reuben and Rye sandwiches. Fennel, can you believe it? <laughs> Fresh fennel. 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 fennel.